What's going on everyone? This is Vinny Rodriguez, also known as 8 Figure Vision. It's getting dark, it's getting a little cold out here now in Massachusetts. We're getting into the fall. But I wanted to share with you because I value you so much. And I appreciate all the love and all the comments and all the shares that you guys are putting on the wall. So I'm bringing you today the next in our Vast Book series. It is Great by Choice. This is a book by Jim Collins. Jim Collins the great author, the one who wrote Good to Great. He has been a tremendous influence, one of the greatest authors of our time uh, in the sense that he's wrote, written over three best time, best selling New York Times books uh, and has sold over 10 million copies. Over 10 million people have had his book in their hands, guys. So the guy know what he's talking about. And I will guarantee you that this book uh, here will also give you more. If you read Good to Great, this will expand upon that in new ways that you have never imagined. For example, so there's a relative premise of what this book is about. This book answers the question, why do some companies thrive in uncertainty and even chaos and others do not? It is a very simple question, but this co this question is complex and it's, it's perplexed the world's billionaires and millionaires and the world's top CEOs and executives of the world today. So I'm just going to answer this very quickly for you guys um, and just highly encourage that you do pick up this book. I give this book a 6 out of 8 and the only reason I give it a 6 out of 8 is because I feel that the author, uh, even though it's a different book. I feel that there are a lot of similarities between this book and Good to Great. Uh, it's just this has an interesting spin to it. So I just wish there was a little more individuality with with this book in particular. Um, but I thought he's, of course, I think he still did a great job. Um, but, you know, not totally dramatically different from his previous work. So here we go, guys. Uh, to answer that question, right, and I'll repeat the question to you again, why is it that some companies, or we can also say entrepreneurs, or maybe whatever your field is, why is it that people in your field thrive in uncertainty, even chaos, and others don't? Why is that, right? So he goes into pretty much the premise of it, says it's not because some people are more energetic, some people more enthusiastic, some people more charismatic, or maybe they they understand people more, right? So that's why. It's not that they're more innovative and they're always on the cutting edge. It's not that they're more uh, faster at what they do. Guys, all of those things that we think is what makes these mega, uh, on these mega enterprises, it's actually quite simple. What distinguishes the what he refers in this book as the 10Xer companies from all the other companies that are doing okay or average or the companies that have failed, right? What distinguishes them? Number one thing, guys, it's that they are, they have a fanatic discipline, empirical creativity and productive paranoia. So he goes over these elements in this book, right? And he really goes over. So we're gonna break this down real quick fanatic discipline they're more consistent guys they're more consistent every day they're going at it they're doing the same thing and how are they doing it it's like he says in the book they fire they fire small bullets and then cannonballs right why is that because in the beginning it's small tumultuous steps right it's a little cultivating the seeds right cropping all of that so day after day you have the year when no one's watching all of these overnight successes no one's no one's watching them when they're when they're working in their basement all of these days and all of these years right until if finally they gain enough momentum right the snowball rolls down the hill right metaphor after metaphor but pretty much they finally get to launch the cannonball that's when it happens. They're specific, they're methodical, they're consistent, right? They have a recipe that's specific, methodical, and consistent every single day, right? They have ingredients that they've measured, that they've performed, that they understand are providing them results, something they can evaluate, 
right? So you have, so this is this is a message to all of you that are looking to make those improvements, right? In your career, profession, or anything of that matter, it's using the smack recipe that is outlined in this book. And lastly, it's also return on luck. I'd say this was probably the most impactful part I've read in this book. Your return on luck, right? People think that the ultra successful in this world are lucky, right? Or they just landed on lucky. Well, guess what? Like no research has ever done before, this book actually delivers specific examples of when each of these 10X or companies, when each of these 10X or companies got lucky. And they also documented times that they didn't get lucky. And then they they evaluated every single time that each of those uh, of the good luck and bad luck times and found out that what made these companies grow from 1 to 10x in those times of, of dramatic good luck and bad luck was actually the fact that it was the return on their luck that they were getting. Think of it like a ROI or a return on investment. They saw their luck as an investment and that is the distinguishing factor between a between a, a normal company and an extraordinary company. The time when they found the right mentor, the right partner, the right uh, the right business manager, the right type of client, right? Maybe the right type of idea. Those are the moments when they launched everything and put all of their money, all of their revenue, and all of their efforts into that one thing, right? That was either a good or a bad luck. Maybe it was a huge failure, right? Maybe it was something that happened in the stock market, right? Maybe it was something that happened uh, in, maybe it was something that, that happened in their family. Any of those things imaginable, they took that moment of ultimate strife or ultimate success and they 10x it. They put everything in it. See? So it's not about your luck. So this is for all of you who feel like, man, I mean, I think I'm doing everything, right? You you seek the opportunities that they have sought and then maximize, squeeze it like like the like the, the biggest orange juice that you got. Think about you go to the supermarket. I want you to, I'm gonna give you this exercise, I'm gonna leave you with this guys. I want you tomorrow to go at your day like you're looking for the biggest orange juice, the biggest orange you could possibly find. And when you find that orange juice, squeeze it as much as you can. I'm also now I will also encourage others of you to do the opposite. I would actually encourage you to find as many oranges as you possibly can and squeeze and then find out how much volume you produce just from all of those oranges together, right? And see which one will give you the most return on your luck, right? Were you just lucky that you found those oranges, right? Or did you just maximize what you got from it? So, guys, make the most juice out of what you get, right? That is the premise of this book. And with that said, I'm going to leave you for today. This is Vinny Rodriguez, also known as Eight Figure Vision. I'm here wholeheartedly delivering the next in our vast book series. And with this, I am signing out for today. Until tomorrow, guys, have a great one. Peace and prosperity. Until next time.